Hello everyone, I'm back. Uh, let's keep studying with me through video lessons, okay? I'm sure by now you get used to uh, doing this with me, okay? We were uh, in the middle of could, couldn't, can, can't. Okay, <clears throat> we are on student book, page 107, page 107, lesson F. Okay, why don't you listen to this first? Listen to this first. Could, couldn't, and can, can't. Past and present ability. Unit 8, lesson F. Watch and listen. Watch. Grammar rule. Use can and can't to talk about ability to do something in the present. Use could and couldn't to talk about ability to do something in the past. I could play the piano 10 years ago, and I can play the piano now. He could speak French before, but he can't speak French now. She couldn't use a computer before, but she can use a computer now. They couldn't cook last year, and they can't cook this year. Check your understanding. Okay, let's listen to this once again. Good. Couldn't watch this and listen. And can can't look at this one. Past and present ability. Unit eight, lesson F. Watch and listen. Grammar rule. Use can and can't to talk about ability to do something in the present. Use could and couldn't to talk about ability to do something in the past. I could play the piano 10 years ago, and I can play the piano now. He could speak French before, but he can't speak French now. She couldn't use a computer before, but she can use a computer now. <laughs> they couldn't cook last year, and they can't cook this year. Check your understanding. Okay, check your understanding. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. Complete the sentence. Complete the sentence. I could play the piano 10 years ago, and I can play the piano now. He could speak French before, but he can't speak French now. She couldn't use a computer before, but she can use a computer now. They couldn't cook last year, and they can't cook this year. Let's review. Past. I could dance as a child. I could run fast as a child. I couldn't type fast before. Present. I can dance now. I can't run fast now. I can't type fast now. Okay, good. Okay. Let's look at our student book pictures. Number one, uh, oops. read this part, A, B, conversation, A, B, repeat after me once again. I couldn't drive a car before, but I can drive a car now. I 
could drive a car before. And I can drive a car now. Okay, look at this useful language, uh, blue color, in blue color. Useful language, this part. Uh, last year, as a child, two, five, ten years ago, a few years ago, uh, this is, uh, the phrase is uh, past tense. Okay, when we, you use past tense, you can add these phrases at the end of the sentences, okay? Let's look at number one, drive a car. Did you drive a car as a child? No, I couldn't drive a car as a child. I couldn't drive a car before. But can you drive a car? Yes, I can drive a car now. So I couldn't drive a car before, but I can drive a car now. What about play the piano? Could you play the piano before? Could you play the piano before? If you can, you could, if you could, yes, I could play the piano before, but I can't play the piano now. Or I could play the piano before and I can play the piano now. Okay, what about <clears throat> take care of children? Take care of children. Could you take care of children as a child? No, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't take care of children before, but I can take care of children now. Okay, what about check emails? Could you check emails before? If yes, I could check emails before and I can check emails now. What about read in English? Read in English. Could you read in English before? Can you read in English now? I could, I could read in English before and I can read in English now. Or I couldn't read in English before, but I can read in English now. What about cook? Could you cook as a child? Can you cook now? I couldn't, I couldn't cook before, but I can cook. What about American food? Could you cook American food? Yes, I could cook American food before and I can cook American food now. Okay, what could you do as a child or what couldn't you do as a child? What can you do now? What can't you do now? So you can make sentences using could, couldn't, can, can. These are past tense, these are present tense. Positive ability, you can do it. You cannot, you couldn't, okay? Ability, talking about the ability, okay? Uh, ability to do something, ability to do something, okay? Now let's go back to our workbook page 100. Workable page 100. Let's look at 101 first. 101 first. 101. Look at the chart. Write sentences about Danny. Use can, can't, could, and couldn't. When you look at the, the chart, 10 years ago and new. Cook, dance, drive, run fast, play the piano, read English, speak Spanish, take care of a family. Okay, number one. Danny couldn't cook 10 years ago, but she can cook now. What about dance? Dance? 
10 years ago, yes. Now, no. Okay, Danny could dance 10 years ago, but she can't dance now. 3. Drive. Drive? No, no. Okay, she, Danny couldn't drive 10 years ago, and she can't drive now. Number 4. Run fast. Danny could run fast 10 years ago, but she can't run fast now. Number five, play the piano. Danny could play the piano 10 years ago, and she can play the piano now. Read English. Number six, Danny couldn't read English 10 years ago, but she can read English now. Number seven, speak Spanish. Danny couldn't speak Spanish 10 years ago, but she can speak Spanish now. Okay, last one, take care of a family. Danny couldn't take care of a family 10 years ago, but she can take care of a family now. Okay, when uh, you look at this chart, yes, no. 10 years ago, now, you can make a sentence like this. Number one, you cover this part, and then when you look at first column, cook. Danny couldn't cook 10 years ago, but she can cook now, okay? Danny couldn't cook, and then you add 10 years ago. Danny couldn't cook 10 years ago, but she can cook now. What about the second one? Dance. Danny could dance 10 years ago, and but she cannot, she can't dance now. What about drive? Danny couldn't drive 10 years ago, and she can't drive now. What about run fast? Danny could run fast 10 years ago, and then, but she can't run fast now. And play the piano? She could play the piano 10 years ago, and she can play the piano now. And read English. Danny couldn't read English 10 years ago, but she can read English now. What about speak Spanish? Danny couldn't speak Spanish 10 years ago, but she can speak Spanish now. Okay, take care of our family. Danny couldn't take care of our family 10 years ago, but she can take care of our family now. So now it's your turn. Why don't you make a sentence when you look at this chart, okay? If it passed 10 years ago, this is past tense. So if you say yes on this column, could. No, couldn't. Now column, column now, yes, can. No, can't, okay? Now give me the sentence. First, could. Danny. Yes, Danny couldn't cook 10 years ago, but she can cook now. What about dance? You make a sentence. Danny could dance 10 years ago, but she can dance now. And drive. Danny couldn't drive 10 years ago, and she can't drive now. What about run fast? She could run fast 10 years ago, but she can't 
run fast now. What about play the piano? Yes, Danny could play the piano 10 years ago and she can play the piano now. Or what about read English? Danny couldn't read English 10 years ago, but she can read English now. Speak Spanish? Danny couldn't speak Spanish before, I mean 10 years ago, but she can speak Spanish now. Take care of a family. Danny couldn't take care of a family 10 years ago, but she can take care of a family now. Okay, good job. You practice this way, okay? You practice these sentences. I could play the piano 10 years ago, and I can play the piano now, okay? Like that. I couldn't drive a car 10 years ago, but I can drive a car now. Okay, good. You can make a lot of sentences using could, couldn't, can, can't. Uh, I couldn't cook when I was a child. I couldn't cook as a child, but I can cook. I could do the dishes as a child, and I can do the dishes now. I could clean the house, and I can clean the house now. Okay, things like that. Okay, many ways, in many ways you can practice this. Okay, now go back to our workbook page 100. 100 is a review. Okay, uh, number one, read the job as, write the words. Start each word with a capital letter. Okay, let's see, number one. Oh, before we do number one, let's read these words. Let's read these words. Repeat after me. Auto mechanic. Bus person. Cashier. Construction worker. Medical assistant. Orderly. Okay, let's look at number one. Blank needed. Help patients walk, take patients for x-rays, deliver x-rays, and mail. Help nurses, help nurses talk to patients, no experience necessary. What kind of job is it? Orderly, yes. Number two, go down is number two. Blank needed, wanted. You will need to handle money. Handle money, remember, use a cash register, no basic math, be friendly with customers, and be on time. Restaurant experience necessary. What's this job? Cashier. Okay, number three. Blank needed. You need to have two years of experience building houses. Need a driver's license. Need to be able to work alone. Construction worker. Number four. Blank wanted. Medical office needs friendly worker. Assist doctor. Remember, assist doctor. And take care of office. Experience or medical assistant. Certificate needed. That's a medical assistant. Number five, blank needed. Busy car repair shop needs worker. Car repair, remember, experience with American and foreign cars useful. Five years of experience necessary. Okay, repair cars, what kind of job? Auto mechanic. Number six, blank wanted. New restaurant needs worker to clear and clean tables. No experience necessary. Need to work fast. Clear and clean tables. What kind of job is that? The bus person. Okay, very good. Okay, now let's take a break and then I'll be back. Okay, thank you.